Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I did some leveling off screen or off camera for you guys. I, you guys, ugh. <laughs> as you guys can see, Kiki is now level thirteen. I also uh, went ahead, went ahead, had some lunch and some hot coffee for my throat. Uh, and what we are going to do now, the reason why I was leveling up and why I want to focus on Kiki instead of catching that Nidoran right now is there's a rival battle right here. Hey, Blondie, you're going to the Pokemon League? Forget it. You probably don't have any badges. The guard won't let you through. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? All right, let's go, guys. Second battle. Gary wants to get wrecked, more like. All right, so he's going to send out a Spearow first. Um, this is a nod to the anime again. Um, as in the first episode, Ash and Pikachu get just completely wrecked by a bunch of Spiro and a Firo. Um, but as you can see, we have wrecked Gary's Spiro. And let's see how we do against this Eevee. Okay, pretty good. Oh, and he's going to go ahead and go for a tackle. Um, our defense is much higher, though. Ooh, and there we go, critical hit. So a critical hit uh, basically means that you do double damage. Um, for those of you who don't know Pokemon. All right. And so the Pokemon League is essentially our end goal. Um, we get the badges, which uh, I'll show you a little bit. Um, and then uh, we end up in the Pokemon League once we get all of the badges. Oh, and we have an encounter here. Oh, Nidor and Mail. Uh, we're going to go ahead and run from this here. Um, and we're actually going to go ahead and head back to Pallet Town. Um, because if you battle Gary and you win in that battle uh, without any other Pokemon, then you will get free Pokeballs from Professor Oak. A lot of people um, don't know that about these games. And the other games, um, I think Generation 3 and onward, you just get five free Pokeballs. Um, but it is possible in this one to also get it. I don't know about Generation 2. Um, maybe. Alright. How's your guys' uh, week going? It's Tuesday for you. And there we go. Five free Pokeballs. Which means that we can, uh, Save our money a little bit. Alright. And now we're going to head back up. I know it's a little tedious, but I wanted to show you guys that. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, so it's Tuesday for you guys. I know a lot of you are on summer break. Um, I guess technically I'm on summer break and have been uh, for a long time because I stopped going to school. Um, but... I'm actually going back to school um, in August. I'm going to study to become an English teacher. I'm very excited. Uh, what do you guys want to be when you grow up? I don't know. <laughs> um, I was originally going to school for film. I wanted to like be a director. and like It went from like I wanted to be a director to I wanted to be a writer and director to I wanted to be a writer um, to just English teacher, <laughs> I guess. Um, so yeah, it's been a journey. Uh, I might I might make a video about my time in Flagstaff. Um, hopefully this goes pretty fast. I'm trying to catch now a Nidoran male. Um, so, yeah. Uh, whew, it's 15 minutes, huh? This is really hard to do um, by myself. I think I mentioned that in the last video, but, um, yeah. Another Rattata. Um, what's your guys' favorite episode of the anime? I always really liked... Oh, what is my favorite episode? Well, I I like the original series, but my favorite is um, season 3 through 5, the Johto series. Um, I always felt that uh, Generation 2 is a... Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I thought I was going to burp. Um... I always thought that Generation 2 was better. I always liked Crystal and uh, 
well crystal is the best one i feel like you know these are always like the the best versions of the games um so like crystal yellow emerald um i didn't play platinum generation four but i hear that one is also pretty good Open for this Nidoran mail. Alright, there it is. Uh, do I wanna... Okay, it's level 4. I'm gonna paralyze it. So in Generation uh, 1... Well, in all the games. Um, in order to catch Pokemon, it really helps to weaken it or to... Um... Oh, and there we go. Alright. It helps to weaken it or do like a status damage like that, like right there. I paralyzed it um, in order to catch it. So if I just threw a Pokeball at it without doing anything, I probably would not have caught it. Do I want to give a nickname? Uh, how about... He's pretty neato, so we'll name him... Burrito. Oh no, how do you spell Burrito. Uh, is it too furry? Uh, if I'm spelling that wrong, then you guys are going to see that I am in fact a giant idiot. Um, and I'm going to school to be an English teacher, so hopefully they will teach me how to read. Okay, so now that we have uh, Burrito, he's paralyzed. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and heal him. Um, and then we can head into the next area, which is Viridian Forest. So let's go ahead and make our way. I always thought that it's interesting in the games that, um, like, yeah, Nidoran female and Nidorina, like, they're blue. But in the anime, Nidoran male and Nidorino are pink. Um, and in the games, they've always, it seemed like, made it very clear that they are uh, purple. Um, so just a weird little change. Nidoking in the anime has always been purple, I know. Um... So just strange things like that, you know, it, it, that the anime kind of does, like, little changes. Sorry if I'm kind of, like, my walking is a little wonky also. Um, I, uh, I'm playing, again, like, on an emulator, so I'm just playing on my phone screen. So I really... It, it would benefit me to get a Bluetooth controller, but I am... I'm not a student right now, but boy, oh boy, am I still poor. <laughs> Woof. Okay. We are headed now into Viridian Forest. Um, I used to think that this area was so big, um, but now it's so easy to get through and just, I feel like, not big enough, honestly. Um, so I went ahead and switched Burrito to the front just so we can get some experience. I don't know if he's ready for a trainer battle yet. Let's go ahead and just get him into, yeah, like Metapod. This will be good for him. Also level 4 Metapod, as you guys might know, famously only knows Harden. Ooh, which... Oof, this is gonna take a while. I might switch here for, um... Yeah, I'm gonna switch out here and uh, just finish him off with Kiki. Um, and what you can do here is if you use two Pokemon, like in a battle, the experience that they get will be split. And there you go. So as you can see, we both got 20 points instead of Burrito just getting uh, 40. Um, is there an item up here? Maybe? Yes? No? There might be a hidden one. Oh. Hopefully this is something... Oh, it's another Metapod. And I'm going to go ahead and run from this one just because it'll take forever. Um, after a certain point... It's a Pokeball. Okay. After a certain point, I'm just going to do some of these trainer battles um, and just do switch training. Um, after a while, it will be uh, easier for Burrito to just take on these Pokemon by himself. Ooh, and this is a Pidgey. I'm going to go ahead and tackle. Critical hit. Oh, that did not do a lot of damage. I'm going to finish him off. I'm going to switch. Um, a lot of these games, there's a lot of, I guess, strategy that goes into it. I don't know. It's not rocket science. You know, again, it's a lot of 
rock, paper, scissors stuff. Um, but, yeah, the reason I'm trying to level up um, Burrito is that he learns a fighting type move, which will be very helpful for the first gym. Okay, and here we go. First trainer battle of Viridian Forest. She has a Nidoran female, level 6, um, so we're definitely going to need to uh, swap out here for Kiki. And you guys may notice that although some of these Pokemon have like certain like cries that are just noises when they come out of their Pokeball, um, Pikachu does just say its name. Um, think about this. Are Pokemon named after... Do the Pokemon say their name, or are they named after the sound that they make? Right? Because that's weird. Like, that'd be like if, uh, oh, and Burrito grew to level 5. That'd be like if you called your dog, like, a Bark Bark. You know? It's very strange. A Bark Bark. Okay, Bark, I've heard a dog definitely go, like, Bark Bark, you know? Or, like, uh, like, Arf. But, like, I've never heard a dog go bow wow. Like, where did that come from? Oh, and there he is, Leer, which is going to lower my defense. Um, like, bow wow. What is that? Where did that come from? You know? Oh, yeah, see, these are two shots for Pikachu, too. So this would have taken forever for Burrito. Oh, but he grew to level 6. Um, nice. I, I would say level 7. He should be able to start taking on some of these by himself, especially since that wasn't a bug trainer. Um, some of these bug Pokemon are pretty weak, um, so they'll be a little easier. So we're going to go ahead. Normally, I spend a lot of time in here trying to catch a Pikachu, but since we already have one, it's fine. All right. Bow wow. Where did... And like meow, meow definitely sounds like meow, you know, for a cat. I don't know. My chinchilla barks. Um, they call it barking, but it's really more like uh, kind of like screaming. And she goes like, "Ree, ree, ree, ree." It, it's really weird. Um, the first time it happened, it freaked me out. Do you guys have any pets? Let me know down below. All right, level seven. Um, I'm gonna a caterpie. I'm gonna try to take this on just with burrito. And see how he does. We're gonna. I'm gonna first put. Oh shoot! Hit A. Lowered my speed. Um, what I meant to do was um, switch tackle the positions. You could switch the moves with select. There you got a critical hit. I don't have any potion. Oh, I do have a potion. That's right, I was, uh, I took it out at the beginning, so I do have a potion. But we're going to see how I do here, because it's, look, it's looking like he's trying to lower, I think he's already faster than me, why is he trying to lower my speed? That's so, I don't understand stuff like that. Alright, got a critical, if this doesn't kill me, don't kill me, okay, cool. And perfect. Alright, and he has grown to level 8. And he learned Horn Attack. Perfect. Okay, this is gonna... The rest of this should be pretty easy. Horn Attack is like Tackle, but uh, much stronger. What am I doing? He's already up front. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use that potion. Yeah, I have two of them. Okay, sweet. Okay. And uh, as you guys can see, Pikachu loves me now. That also happened off camera. Look at him. I'd say her, Kiki, because my chinchilla Kiki is a girl. All right, we're going to go ahead and battle this trainer right here. See how uh, Burrito does. And uh, I think after this, we're going to call it an episode. Since we are teetering on the 15-minute mark here. And we're going to, again, go ahead and switch these and use Horn Attack. And it missed. Great. <laughs> oh, and it's only level 6, so... 
He's gonna keep spamming that Harden. If I really need to, I could just use Leer and lower that defense back down. Um, I don't think... I think Kakuna, if you battle them, will know Poison Sting, but I think all Metapod can do is hard. Some of them know Tackle. Um, so it's very strange. And once I use Leer, it's uh, gonna be a cycle. Because if I use Leer, it's gonna use Harden, and it'll just cancel out the Leer. So this is this is better. Okay, beat him. To use Caterpie, you know. Uh, so I essentially need to get him. I think it's level twelve that he learns Double Kick, um, which is what I need. Oof. Okay, that was a critical hit. This Caterpie is gonna be a cinch. Not as many experience points, though. And he's done. One more. Oh, and he grew to level 9. Okay, nice. So in the next episode, we'll definitely finish Viridian Forest and probably... I don't think take on Brock... Well, maybe. 15 minutes? Maybe. We might take on Brock uh, in the next episode. Um, depending on how fast we can get to level 12 and uh, finish up this forest. But there's still a few trainers in here, um, so it shouldn't really be a problem. Uh, I also think it's worth mentioning, I don't think Nido King is going to be on my final team. Alright, and I've grown to level 10. Um, but yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think that uh, Burrito is going to be on my final team. Um, I think I have an idea of who it's going to be. Um, oh, or is it level 13? I don't know. So I picked up that potion there, and I think that's where I'm going to call it an episode. Um, so I will go ahead and see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Um, comment if you enjoyed it or anything that I have discussed in this video, if you have any comments on that. Um, I didn't say in the last one, but follow me on Twitter, at Bonnie Animates, for updates behind the scenes of future animations. This is not an animation. Wow, that just totally spewed out of me um well any future videos i guess i should say um so yeah and i will see you guys in the next one bye thanks for watching